Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of Amtrak's GE Genesis locomotives. Now, uh, there is several different classes of this, like the P40DC, the P42DC, and the P32ACDM. And uh, the only real difference is that the P32, it does not have a back door. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. They all look pretty much the same and uh, this train serves on different routes like the California Zephyr and something about the shore <laughs> I don't know I don't remember and uh, they do have uh, coaches that go along with all these Amtrak trains but I will have that on a separate video because there is a lot of variations especially with uh, this train and yeah let's uh, get on to the tutorial uh, first thing we're going to do we're going to use polished uh, andesite. I think it's called andesite. Yeah. Make it uh, three blocks wide. And we're going to take some upside down stone brick stairs. Just put them on the sides and one in the center front. And then we're going to take a trip wire hook, put it on either side of the front uh, stairs. And then we're going to get the polished andesite. Just add two to each side. Then we're going to take uh, a clay, make a two block tall wall around like this. And then we want to expand uh, this side so that, excuse me, it's uh, 32 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. And uh, you want to expand it on the other side as well. Just this two block tall clay wall. And I do already have a video about the GE Genesis for Metro North. But uh, this is slightly uh, modified so that it's more like an Amtrak, uh, one of the Amtrak's locomotives with the different uh, blocks used and there's like these subtle variations that they have that are different all right anyways uh, let's get some stone buttons just add this here and here on the sides at the front and then we're going to take uh, item frame and white stained glass and you want to put the item frames on top of the stone buttons and in the in the frames we want to add white stained glass now I don't have it on this side, but I actually do is just invisible. There's just this bug that uh, whenever I use MC Edit, sometimes the item frames they do disappear, so that's why. And they never fix it. Oh well. So next we're gonna use the uh, lapis lazuli blocks, unlike the the Metro North version. It's a different shade of blue, and then in the middle here, we want to add a beacon with a blue carpet on top. And in the middle here, we want to add block of quartz. Let's go switch back to the lapis lazuli, and you want to make uh, this expand it by uh, four blocks like that and put a pillar right here and then we're going to make the roof it's uh, six blocks so one two three four five six and you just want to fill in this uh, square thing well, it's almost a square and then uh, we're going to take uh, black stained glass and make the window so it's the front window and also on the sides just two blocks wide in the front we want to add a pillar in the middle and also a blue carpet on top uh, then we're going to take some more clay just add it to the body just go fill the rest in actually there the lapis it does go another two blocks after the window like that and the rest is pretty much clay here at least in the front so I'm just going to fill it in with clay. And uh, let's uh, go back to the front. I need to add this small detail. 
uh, redstone torch on top of here in the sides and also we want to get the iron bars so just add it one here on the pillar I think it's like um a mirror for the train and over here we want to add iron bars like this uh, one column underneath like right underneath one of the windows and this is actually where one of the doors are going to be but I did not put a door like an actual door it's just for pretend so that it blends in more of course and do the same thing on the other side four block columns of the iron bars and then a ladder and then here it's going to be an upside down stone brick stairs and this is supposed to be a door all right the next thing we're going to do let's uh just fill in the rest with uh clay pretty much just go fill in the middle part and then we can uh, just modify it a bit so that we can get all the extra details of the vents and the Amtrak logo. Alright, so the Amtrak logo is pretty simple. You just come up over here, uh, block. It's like right next to the, the iron bars. We just put a T shape here and same thing on the other side come up over here add a t-shape like that and uh, right here we want to add on both sides uh, vents using uh, bedrock and it's going to be two blocks wide and then we're going to skip one and add a three block wide one so I'm just doing both sides at the same time and uh, let's uh, move on to the back part. So get more uh, clay to fill in the wall. Go all the way up and uh, I think it's uh, six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not six blocks actually. All right, it's just six blocks of clay, not towards the whole train, so. All right, the next thing we want to do, um, let me just fill this in first. Just another column here real quick. And uh, let's uh, move on to the door, so get some iron door. This is going to be three of them, and uh, they're all pretty much on the same level, just like right here one right here another one here I think yeah another one here let's just put that in and for the back one we just want to put an upside down stone brick stairs like that just underneath the iron door and does this have no it doesn't all right then we're gonna add uh, stone buttons here and here also on top I think so there should be four of them and uh, this part three blocks wide and uh, also on the top one we want to replace the clay with uh, gray wool just some little detailing and also yeah oh yeah we need a ladder put the ladder on the sides underneath underneath the side uh, doors we want ladders and also we also want the iron bars just three blocks tall for this one each side and uh, here in the middle it's going to be like a double light so we just want to get the birch fence case open it like that it should look like this all right uh, then we're going to replace these two parts with uh, lapis lazuli and um, let me see I think uh, this, there should be 11 blocks of clay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and this is the 11th one. 
So if you haven't already done that, uh, you can do it right now. Just fill up the clay on top to 11 blocks long and the rest should be just lazuli. And um, looks like I use black wool. I don't think I have that so I'm gonna get that real quick. And I also am wondering what blocks I use underneath. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what you use for this, these blocks except uh, for the vent part you do want to add a 2x3 of black wool. But the rest I just use grey wool but you can use like anything like clay for example. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it will just be covered by the carpet anyways so you can see like the top right now it's uh, really mismatched on how it looks like like they're all not the same color but it's uh, easily fixed you just add the blue wall on top just want three for the back row and five for most of it and we're not going to cover the giant hole well this is supposed to be a hole where uh, the air is like sucked out And I guess on some of these locomotives, uh, the top is gray because all the smoke that came out, they left the ashes on top, making it dirty. But on some of them, I saw like the top was blue, so we're just making most of the top blue. Just filling it in with blue carpet till we get to the front. I know we're gonna leave a row. A row like just leave it alone full of a uh, lapis like this row we're not gonna we're gonna leave it alone so that there's more of like a slope and let's go to the back uh, let me just check real quick yeah they're they're the same so there's actually uh, some vents here in the back which is two by three here one block away from the iron door on the side and then a block space between and another bedrock so it should be like a 2x3 and a 2x2 two two. and next is a 2x2 two two, uh, right next to the bedrock and this is supposed to be the, num the numbers that they use uh, but you can actually use uh, I'm just thinking of this right now but you can actually use uh, banners instead of using this lapis so you can have actual numbers which is cool but I don't have that right now but you can easily do that I know they do have uh, banners now in uh, console minecraft so everyone it, it, you should have access to it uh, there's not no excuse right now since they did update the game uh, unless you're playing the older version or something alright so I did add the uh, 2x2 two two of lapis for the numbers they have the numbers in blue um and let's uh, I think the only thing we need to work on really is the bottom of the train so we're gonna use the stone brick slabs and the hoppers so in the back uh, just add two to each side underneath and then we're gonna excuse me connect it in the middle and just add one sticking out uh, for the coupling and oh shoot we don't have the floor so the floor uh, what I used is polished andesite which is the same material that we used in the front so let me just get in here place a lot of polished andesite blocks for the floor this is so uh, we can place the wheels underneath just get out like that and uh, place the clay all right um, let's get the hopper so after these two blocks of polished andesite we want to leave a space here and then here's where we're gonna start the wheels again 
So the wheels I just used two blocks of co uh, hoppers, then a slab, and another two, another two hoppers, and we want to make sure it's on the track like this. Then we're gonna leave a uh, space of two, and here we're gonna go fully across all five blocks, and just go along the sides using the slabs. And uh, let's do the back one. So we're gonna leave a space after this slab. This is two, and there's a slab, middle, then the hopper, and then uh, another space. And let's do that. Um, same thing on the other side. And uh, make this into a four. Uh, no, not a four. Is it a four? No, it's not. It's five. So, so five blocks wide. So it looks like it's a giant box here. And uh, we want to add this small detail uh, using a trip wire hook. There's like a little uh, place where you can. Uh, I think it's where they fill in the the feel for the locomotive. Like uh, I think it's it's generally diesel. I know sometimes it could be electric using a third rail uh, electrification and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it on how to make the GE Genesis for Amtrak so I will have a tutorial on how to make the locomotive so you can have an actual train and there's like different types of uh, Amtrak coaches that they uh, that they have on them you know they have like the super liner I, I don't know <laughs> I'm not really sure. Super view liner, I think that's what they call it. I have the double, double levels, and the regular ones, but they also have double levels, kind of, and uh, there's just different uh, variations. So I will have a video on that later. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the GE Genesis locomotive for Amtrak. And if you guys like the video please hit that thumbs up button below and uh, you know comment or if you haven't already please subscribe because I will upload more videos in the future and I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>